Hello, my name is Richard Hewitt with Lost Tribes Cafe. I want to tell you today about a self-published book that I just put out called um, Semite, The Hidden Semite by Risbeck. That's my um, Kyrgyz name. Uh, and the, the book is about Semite, uh, the son of Manas, the son of Jacob. So in the, um, there's a trilogy actually. The first of the trilogy is actually Manas, Semite is the second, and then Satek is the third. And in the Manas epic, you, you see all the similarities between the um, Kyrgyz people in the Bible, the, um, the Kyrgyz um, Exodus and the, the biblical Exodus, the Kyrgyz Jacob and the biblical jo Jacob, the Kyrgyz um, Rebiga, Sani Rebiga, and the, um, and the biblical Rebecca. And the, the similarities just go on and on, and I wrote, write about that as a collection of, of um, essays that I presented at academic conferences in Kyrgyzstan from 2006 to 2011. The book, um, the story about Semite is very different, even though it's, uh, it's in the series, but it's very, the style is different. You feel like the time period that it's written in is different. And what I realized as I was listening to the Semite epic was that he, um, the st well, let me, let me go back and say the story is about a, a, the son of Manas, after Manas is killed, he has to flee this evil regime change that's taking place in the, in the mountains among the nomads. And his mother takes him, flees to Bukhara, where the famous Bukharan Jews are from. And um, the Bukhara, the Sultan of Bukhara doesn't let him in. He says, no son of Manas can, can, can stay in my city. And so the mother pleads with the Sultan and says, please, he'll never know who his father was or where he's from, his ethnic identity or anything like that. We'll just raise him as a, as a Tajik. The, the city was Tajik at the time. So he's, so Semite grows up not knowing who he is, thinking he's Tajik, not realizing he's Kyrgyz. And um, eventually he gets to know who he is and he returns back to the fatherland. That's kind of a spoiler, but um, what was happening to me as I was listening to the the Semite epic is I realized that um, a, a lot of biblical markers were left in the epic and I believe that these were left um, from generations past for our generation, people who know the Bible, have the freedom to read the Bible, that we could pick up on the similarities and decode the encoded ethnic identity of the Kyrgyz. I really believe that Semite, the name Semite means like a Semite or Semitish or little Semite. And um, now we have the opportunities to look back at this, um, this amazing epic and decode it. And that's what I've attempted to do, but I haven't, um, I haven't openly stated things in the Bible. I want you to come on the journey with me as you read Semite, the hidden Semite. Um, again, I'll leave the link for it in the, um, in the description below. But uh, Semite, the Hidden Semite, thank you.